it's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for the Walking Dead's comic book series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my comic book collection as far as the Walking Dead is concerned. So of course, last month, issue 193, we got the very final issue of the Walking Dead. So there's no better time to showcase the collection that I have right now than now because of course, there will be no new comic book being released. So I thought I'll just show you guys the collection that I have right now. I do plan on adding to the collection and hopefully completing it in the future. It's not going to be in the near future for sure, but in the future, I do plan on completing the collection. But I have the box right here that I'm going to be showing you guys. So this is the box that I'm going to be showing you guys. This is my entire collection. Now I do have some other stuff that's in the display in the background of my videos, which I'm going to show you at the end. But this is basically my entire collection in terms of the single issues. So let's jump right into this because I don't want this video to be super long. So we have issue number two variant. This is the blind bags edition of the variants. We have Rick and Glenn. This is a pretty awesome cover. Then we have issue number 19 with Michonne and her pets. Again, this is part of the blind bag variant covers. This is the regular colored version. I do have the version colored version as well, which is in the display in the background, which I'll show you at the end. I have another copy of issue 19 with Michonne and her zombie pets. This is the regular colored version again. I was hoping that I would get another version, but you know, I just took a gamble and I just got a regular one. Then we have issue number 27. Again, this is part of the blind bags variant covers. We have the governor and the zombie head in the tanks. This is a pretty cool cover as well. This is not the version, this is just the regular. Then we have issue 48. This is the death of the governor. This is again, part of the variant covers that came with the blind bags. So this is the virgin color version, which is pretty cool. So we have the governor, a gory governor death. It's a pretty awesome one. Then issue number 98 with Abraham's death or Dwight's first issue. This is a virgin colored version, the pretty awesome one. Then I have issue number 100 with Negan's first appearance and Glenn's death. This is a pretty gory one. This is again part of the blind bags edition and it's the regular one, not the virgin one. I actually preferred the non-virgin one over the virgin one for this. Then I have a issue 100 variant with Rick on top of the dead bodies. This is a pretty cool one. Of course, they captured this moment in The Walking Dead season nine in Rick's final episode. So that was awesome. Then I have issue 102, part six of six of Something to Fear with the Saviors and Negan. Absolutely cool one. Then I have issue 103. We have Negan with Lucille and Rick kneeling down. This is a pretty awesome cover as well. Then I have issue 101 with Dwight. This is part five of six of Something to Fear. Pretty cool one. I doubt that these are first print because I got these way after they were actually released. It's a pretty cool one to have in my collection. Then I have issue 107 with Negan and Rick at Alexandria. It's a pretty cool one. We have Carl's hat right there or Rick's hat. It's a pretty cool one. Issue 107. Then I have issue 108 with King Ezekiel and Shiva's first issue. This is again part of the blind bags edition. And this is the colored version, but it's the regular. It's not the virgin. Pretty cool one. Issue 108. Then I have issue 115, which is All Out War 1 of 12. Now this is cover M, so it's a variant cover. We have Rick, Carl, Michonne, and Andrea and Negan in the back. It's a pretty cool one. Then I have cover K variant of All Out War issue 115. So that's a pretty cool one. We have Rick, Jesus, and Ezekiel with Call in the background. And of course, Shiva's on the side here. Then I have issue 115 again, but this time cover J variant with Negan and Lucille and Abraham's death. It's a pretty cool one. I have issue 115 cover C with Michonne and her zombie pets. It's a pretty cool one. So putting this one right next to this one, Looks pretty awesome. We have Michelle with her zombie pets, but just different artists. Absolutely cool one. Moving on to issue 115, this time cover A. All Out War part one of 12 again. We have Rick, Dwight, and Negan. It's a pretty cool one, I love this one. This is a pretty iconic shot of Rick in the comic book. So I'm glad I have that in my collection. Then moving on to issue 116, part two of 12 of all Out War. So we have Holly here, Rick, and Negan. And I think that's Dwight in the back. 
Pretty cool cover. Then I have issue 117, All Out War Part 3 of 12 with Jesus. And I think that's still Holly in the back and King Ezekiel here. Pretty cool one. Then I have issue 118, part 4 of 12 of All Out War. So we have Gregory, Maggie, Jesus, and I don't know who that is. I don't think that was Rick. I don't know who that is, but it's a pretty cool one. Then we have another issue 118, same one. I just have two copies. Then we have issue 121, All Out War, part 7 of 12, with Negan, Eugene, and Rick right here. A pretty cool one. I love this Negan shot right there. So another good one to add to my collection. Issue 123, part 9 of 12 of All Out War. We have Dwight and Ezekiel and Rick right there. So a pretty cool one. Issue 124, part 10 of 12 of All Out War. We have Maggie, Andrea, and Rick. And Negan at Hilltop right there. Issue 125, part 11 of 12 of All Out War. I don't have all of the parts for All Out War. So I'm missing a few, but I plan to get all of them to complete my All Out War collection as well. But we have Negan, Jesus, and Andrea right there. Then we have issue 126, part 12 of 12 of All Out War. We have Michonne, Carl, and Negan. This has to be one of my favorite covers for All Out War. Just the way Carl is standing, the way someone is standing in front of Negan with Lucille. Negan is kneeling. I absolutely love this cover. Then we have issue 127, which is part of the blind bags. This is a new beginning. So we have Yumiko, Magna, Luke, I think, and other members of Magna's group and everyone else. Now this is a wraparound, which means that the back also has the rest of the image, the rest of the characters. Now, of course, because I have it in the bag and the board's in the back, you can't see the back. And also this is the regular colored version. It's not the virgin colored version. Then I have issue 128 with Magna fighting off a zombie, a pretty cool one. Issue 131 with Carl and Earl. I have issue 132. This is the blind bag variant cover again. It's alpha. We have the Ouroboros belt here. This is an absolutely cool one. I love this cover right here. Only because it's very different than the other covers. The drawing is different, which I absolutely love. You know, the uniqueness of it. So this is issue 132. This is, I think, Alpha's first issue, if I'm not wrong. This is the virgin colored version. I'm glad I was able to, you know, get that one. I was pretty lucky with some of these virgin ones. Then I have issue 133, Whispers to Screams, story arc with the whispers. Pretty cool cover. Then I have issue 134, with Jesus capturing Lydia, a pretty cool one. Then we have issue 138 with Alpha. This is another iconic Alpha cover, which I absolutely love. Then I have another one of my favorite covers, issue 137 with Carl. Absolutely love this one. This has to be one of my favorite covers ever for The Walking Dead. As far as Carl is concerned, like Carl specific, covers. It's in the top 10 of my all-time favorite covers as well. Then we have issue 139 with Rick at Oceanside. That's a pretty iconic one as well. I love that one. We have issue 141 with Negan escaping from the cell. The pretty cool cover. Then we have issue 142 with the fair. So we have Negan in the middle right there. Obviously we didn't have Negan at the fair. This was just Kirkman misleading us. It was actually Alpha that was there not Negan. So that was a pretty cool twist or fake out. Then we have issue 143 with Lydia and Carl amongst the whispers. It's a pretty cool one. Then we have issue 144 with Rick. Issue 145. So of course this is the border pike scene. I absolutely love this cover. This is one of my favorite covers. Now interesting story. This is actually the very first comic issue that I bought for The Walking Dead when it came out, the rest, the previous ones, aside from the blind bags ones, I picked them up afterwards, after they were actually released, like a few months or even a few years after they were released. But this one, this is the very first issue that I actually bought when it first came out. And so from this one onwards, all of these are first print. The previous ones, I don't necessarily know if they're first print because I bought them after, I doubt they are. But these ones and the one I just showed you with issue 145, these are first print because I bought it the first week or the second week they were released. There are some exceptions, but I think they're still first print. 
because I didn't buy them like a couple months after they were released. I just bought it the next month. Then we have issue 146 with Maggie and Rick. It's a pretty cool one. Then issue 147 with Andrea, Lydia, and Carl. Issue 148, another one of my favorite covers for the Whispers arc. We have Alpha, she's crying. It's a pretty cool one, I love that one. Then we have issue 150 with Rick, with blood all over him. If you remember in this specific scene where the cover is taken from, Rick just bit someone's throat out for the second time. It's a pretty cool one. Now it's funny because when this came out, issue 150, everyone was waiting for issue 200. But we never got there because the comics ended before we reached 200. We ended at 193, which is very interesting. They could have pushed it to 200. Then issue 151 with Dwight carrying Lucille. This is actually a pretty cool cover as well. Issue 152, Silence the Whispers. This is pretty cool because this was right in the season 10 trailer of The Walking Dead that we got last week. So very interesting. I love that cover as well, by the way. We have issue 153 with Rick. Issue 154. And I think this is where Aaron was stabbed. I could be wrong, but I think it was. Issue 155. Issue 156, which is another one of my favorites. This might be like top five of my favorite covers of The Walking Dead. We have Negan and Alpha. I'm not gonna spoil too much for you guys, just in case you haven't read this or haven't got there, but it's an iconic one. Then we have issue 157. We're getting into the Whisperer War. This one is the variant. We have Michonne on top. This is part one of six of the Whisperer's War. Then I have the regular version as well with Rick and Alpha. Then issue 158, which is part two of six of the Whisperer's War. This is the regular one. We have Negan and Michonne. And of course we have the same one, but the variant, which has Jesus on it. So that was 158 as well. We have issue 159, the regular one with Beta on it, part three of six of The Whisperer's War. Then the variant cover for that, which has Andrea on it. We have issue 160, part four of six of The Whisperer's War with Lydia and Carl. We have Earl in the back as well. Then the variant of issue 160 with Rick. This is a pretty cool one. Doesn't really look like Rick from the comics, but it's a pretty cool one. Issue 161, part five of six of The Whisperer's War. This is the original cover with Eugene and Maggie. You have the hilltop burning down here. We're probably gonna see most of these in season 10, or most likely we're gonna see all of them in season 10. That's gonna be coming up. We have the variant cover of issue 161 with Lydia and Carl. Carl looks badass here. We have issue 162, which is the regular version, the last part, part six of six of The Whisperer's War, which has Andrea here and some whispers and the variant for that issue, which has Negan on it. This is a pretty cool Negan cover. Issue 163 with the zombie hands. We have issue 164. This one's a pretty cool one. Then I have a variant, issue 164 variant, which is a Wildcats issue number one variant. So Wildcats is apparently another comic and issue number one looked like that for them. And so they translated that into Walking Dead characters. We have Rick, of course, right there. I think that's Maggie, that's Jesus. That's Lydia, Carl, he's smoking a cigarette. We have Michonne, Dwight, Negan. I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anyone. And of course, Rick, like I said, in the middle. It's a pretty cool one. Issue 165, just called Opportunity. Now it's interesting because if you remember, and I just realized this as I was going through this, issue 165 is called Opportunity. The issue where Negan escaped from the cell is also called Opportunity. I'm not gonna be able to find it again because it's in the back now, but that was interesting. I just realized that. Issue 166 with Dwight and John, I think, the savior. Issue 168, this is a pretty cool cover with Negan and the savior's kneeling. We have issue 168 variant with Jesus killing a walker. I love this one. Look how the walker is hanging on its guts and its spine. So this is Pride Month. Of course, Jesus is the most prominent gay character in the Walking Dead comic book. And so they made this cover for him and for Pride Month. So it's a pretty cool one. Then we have issue 169 
with Dwight and Rick. This cover actually misled a lot of fans. Or they did like a fake out, which was interesting. Issue 170. Issue 171 with Princess's first appearance. It's a cool one. And then we have also for issue 171 the blind bag edition version of it. This is the virgin copy. It's a pretty cool one. I'm not a big fan of the princess character, but this is a pretty cool cover. We have issue 172. Issue 173, final fight. This is most likely going to be the final episode or one of the final episodes in season 10 that deals with the whispers. It's a pretty cool one. You have Jesus fighting someone here. I'm not going to say who, just in case people haven't read that and you're here as a TV show only fan, but you just want to see my collection. 174 with Negan. This is a pretty cool one. Then we get into the Commonwealth story. So the New World Order, part one of six. Issue 175, it's a pretty cool one. Then we have for issue 176, which is the next one, part two of six of the New World Order with the Commonwealth. But this is the variant cover with Michonne on it. It's a pretty cool one. Now what's interesting is that the previous one, 175, is the one that had Rick on the variant. I haven't been able to find that one yet. I might just buy it online. I really want that one. I missed it when it first came out. So I'm looking for that one, but this is a cool one of Michonne. Then we have part two of six of the New World Order or the Commonwealth Story, issue 176. We have Governor Milton here. This is an iconic one as well, as far as the Commonwealth is concerned or their story. Then I have issue 177, part three of six of the New World Order or the Commonwealth Story with Mercer. I'm not a big fan of the Commonwealth storyline in general, but Mercer was one of my favorite characters from that story arc. So pretty cool cover. Then we have issue 177, which is the variant, the governor variant of that issue that we just looked at. It's a pretty cool one. Then issue 178, part four of six of New World Order or the Commonwealth story, the Commonwealth militia fighting princess. It's a pretty cool one. Then I have the variant for that that has Andrea on it. It's a pretty cool one. Then issue 179, part five of six of the New World Order storyline with Eugene. Issue 179. And then we have the variant with Carl. I don't like this cover as much. I'm not a big fan. It's just too pinkish, I think. It just looks too fake. And Carl looks like he's a five-year-old here for some reason, but it's another cover that I have in my collection nonetheless. Issue 180 with Rick and the Commonwealth Militia. So this is part six of six of the New World Order or the Commonwealth Story Arc. Then we have the variant one for that, which has Alpha. This is one of my favorites as well. I absolutely love this cover right here, this artwork. Issue 181 with Mercer and Princess. Issue 181, which is the variant with Glenn on it. Love that one. Issue 182, issue 183 variant with King Ezekiel. The regular issue 183, issue 182 with Maggie on it as a variant. Apparently I have this out of order. I'm going to put it where it belongs. Issue 184, issue 184 variant with Princess on it. Issue 185, pretty cool one of Carl. Issue 185 with Jesus on the cover as a variant. This is a thick issue right here. I just noticed how thick this one is. Not as thick as the final issue, but issue 186. This is an iconic cover as well because of what happens inside the issue, which is what the cover is representing. Issue 187 with Michonne and Rick. Issue 188, we're almost there. Issue 189, issue 190. Now we're getting near the end. Issue 191, it's a pretty iconic one as well. And of course, the final issue, issue 193. I couldn't find this in my comic shop. Everyone was sold out. So I bought this the day it was released, but I just had to buy it online because I couldn't find it in my comic shops. And I went there like half an hour after the store opened. So within half hour, it was gone. Everyone had ordered it earlier and you know, it was gone, but I got myself this copy. I have another copy that's in the background that I'm going to show you guys. So with that, let's move into the stuff that I have in the background as display. And I can't get too close to these because I'm connected to my computer. Not sure if you can see, but we have volume 17, 19, 20, 21, 27, 29, 30, and 31. I have the season 
six on Blu-ray, which you can see on top. And I have Compendiums 1, 2, and 3. I will be buying Compendium 4 when it comes out. Then I have issue 167, which is another iconic one for Andrea specifically. Then I have the Virgin cover of issue 19 with Michonne and her zombie pets. I have it at display and I just have a sword. That's not really Michonne's sword, but I thought it fits. Then I have this one, which is issue 101 variant. This is the ghost variant of Michonne. It's a pretty cool one. I have issue 192 with Carl. This is the issue before the final one. So this is just as iconic, I think, as the final one. I have Rick Grimes Tribute, issue 192. It's a pretty cool one. I had to order this one in as well. Issue number one, but this is not the main one. This is a variant one that they released. We have another issue 193, final cover. And then I have my Rick Graham statue and my Negan statue. And I have issue number 149 with Negan and Rick. I've always wanted to, you know, have this kind of display when I saw this issue cover. So I'm glad that I was able to do that. Then from there, and I'm not going to be able to move to the right because I'm connected, like I said. But I have Here's Negan which is not a single issue, it's just a book basically. I have issue 100 with Negan's first appearance, Something to Fear, part four of six. And of course it's not first print because I didn't buy it when it was released. I have the variant for Negan. I don't know what issue that is, but can't really move around to check. You all know which one it is. And I have the Mega Box issue 100 variant at the end. So with that, I hope you guys all enjoyed that. I tried not to make this video super long, but that was basically my collection. I will show you guys what I add to my collection as I add them. Later on, we might do another video where I just display everything like this again. But that's basically it for this video. See you next time for another super video. If you like what you see, press like, subscribe for more content, and press the bell button to receive notifications for daily uploads.